Hey, what up, it's Nudets. I'm Chris from Vios and today I'm gonna bring you a review from a G.I. Joe figure. And this one is gonna be a Spirit Iron Knife. And it's one of my first G.I. Joes that I pick up, like, brand new. Well, second. The first one was the Rise of Cobra Mars Troopers, but uh, I sold them once upon a time. There were three of them, and I uh, really didn't like them much, those guys. But I bought this, and this is one great figure, man. I wish I could find more of this kind of figures. So, I'm gonna do the review, okay? Hey, what up, G Nerd? Commander, dude. Yeah, uh, I told you I grabbed this guy from Ross. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice figure, has uh, cool accessories from the Joes. And uh, I'm really happy to have this guy. It's pretty badass. I have another one. I'm gonna do the review later on. But this guy is just cool, man. Well, this is the packaging where he supposed to come out. So here we have this Joe. Pretty cool. No accessories. Cool figure. Uh, has nice details into it. Has this kind of tattoo here. Pretty cool. The hand. Pretty nice sculpted, nice pants, has like dots, camouflage, something like that. Pretty nice articulation, well, it's the same as all the Joe. All the Joes, pretty nice articulation, can't complain at all with that. Figure just look marvelous, man. Pretty cool figure. Glad I picked it up. It comes with this uh, machete. Pretty cool machete, pretty cool handle. Comes with this uh, bow, pretty nice. Doesn't have the strips, I, can, I think I can put something in there. It's pretty cool. The handle here, nice. Comes with this uh, machine gun, regular black plastic, but it looks nice. Can't complain. Looks pretty cool. It comes with this uh, axe, or I don't know what the hell you want to call it. It's pretty cool, man. Spirit Iron Knife. Also comes with this. The arrows. Pretty cool. And one cool part of it is that you can take out one of the arrows and just put it here. So you can take it up, but I, I, it doesn't have any form to grab it. But yeah, one arrow loose and the other one just go on the back. It's pretty cool. It has his base. Pretty nice base. Like the Marvel uh, Universe. Pretty cool. So it comes with this. The little serpents or I don't know what the hell you want to call it. Check it out. Comes with two of them. <laughs> Little accessories. So the, the chest, you can take it out. And it's pretty detailed, man. Just check this out. This pouch is here. This little gun here. Wish this little gun can come out, but it's sculpted. Sculpted in, yeah, sculpted in, hold on. Yeah. I think you can unpeg it, but you cannot broke it. So yeah, the chest is pretty badass as well. The figure looks nice with the chest on it. Alone, it looks just skinny. Just check this out. Right, it looks kind of skinny, but it's pretty badass. Pretty badass figure, really like it. Yeah, let me put the accessories so you can take a look at this guy. All right, so here we have Spirit Iron Knife grabbing his bow and one arrow, and it looks pretty badass, man. I like the accessories and these Joes, man. Wish I can have more. There's a bunch of them that are pretty badass. I want some cool snake eyes and uh, 
Storm Shadow, but never find it. I found the, the one from the movie, but it really sucked. So I didn't pick it up. But this guy just looks awesome. Check out with his backpack there. Grabbing the arrow. Ready to throw it. Just looks epic. Pretty nice figures. Like the way you grab it. I don't know if I'm grabbing it right. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Check the face, man. It looks like the American Indian from um, from a Predator. Pretty badass. All right, so here you have with the axe and the machete. It looks pretty badass, man. And uh, a little pose there. It's pretty badass. Check out the axe. Call him cruel. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's having problems holding the that thing there, the machete. But yeah, you can pose him in different ways, and uh, it's gonna look cool. So here we have him with his machine gun. Pretty cool, man. Didn't notice, but you grab it, and this <laughs> the finger goes through here, <laughs> and it looks cool, man. Looks nice. It doesn't have a trigger finger. Uh, maybe I'm gonna cut it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna damage it. It's a little, little little hand so I'm not gonna risk it. It looks pretty nice with his uh, machine gun there, big ass machine gun. Yeah, hell yeah. Pretty nice G.I. Joe man. Alright, so here we have with the snakes. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna eat him or throw him like uh, weapons, I don't know. <laughs> Two little snakes there. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love my snakes. <laughs> Spirit Iron Knife. Pretty cool, and it seems he's a tracker, so it's there, right there. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Jungle Assault, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and he can carry all the accessories. So here we have a Spirit Iron Knife, holding all of his weapons, and it looks pretty badass. So check that out. Grabbing his machine gun with the snake there. And there we have uh, on the back, the the axe and the bow, pretty cool. Another snake here on the top. And so yeah, he can hold his weapons on him. That's how I have this play, just like that. So I don't lose the, the accessories. Pretty cool figure. I think I'm gonna just leave him with uh, the bow, but uh, right now I'm just gonna leave it like that, okay? So I hope you liked the review, dude, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I told you I was gonna do it, so. Right now I'm really busy at job and uh, my schedule is changing. Man, it's hard to do videos right now. So I hope it comes out properly. Later on dudes. Videos are us. Out baby. Later.